Your big leader, he spent three of those seasons up I-55 with the St. Louis Cardinals. Let's take a look at the amazing career of Kerry Robinson. The year was 2001, and the hometown kid announced his arrival. Swing a home run, the first big league home run for Kerry Robinson. Before he was playing for the St. Louis Cardinals, Kerry Robinson was setting records at Southeast Missouri State, his only college offer coming out of Hazelwood East High School. As a senior at SEMO, he hit 385, which included an Ohio Valley Conference record 35-game hitting streak. He was a 1993 second team and a 1995 first team all OVC selection. He was a very dominant player and, and was uh, fun to watch. Uh, Kerry was a guy that uh, you, uh, you watched when he came up to bat. Um, you wanted to see what he was going to do and, and watch that speed. One of the easiest guys to coach, terrific effort guy, brought it every day. Came early, stayed late. Just a wonderful, wonderful guy to work with. But he was also super talented. The Cardinals selected Robinson in the 34th round of the 1995 draft. His MLB debut was for Tampa in 98, and he arrived in St. Louis in 2001, where he would play 354 games for his hometown team. Ripped into right, Kerry Robinson, a hero of the night. Great talent. He was with the Cardinals at the time when they were really, really good. He got to play with some of the all-time guys. If you're a Cardinal fan and, and a baseball fan, Yadier Molina, Wayne Wright, Albert Pujols, just phenomenal. Fit right there in the middle with him, Kerry. During Robinson's three years in St. Louis, he belted out 152 hits while batting 264. He helped the Cardinals to a wild card berth in 2001 and the division title in 2002. A slick fielder, he also made just four errors in his seven-year big league career. He was someone that that uh, you knew was going to do great things. Um, he was a pleasure to to be around, and, and as from a teammate perspective, and and to grow and play with and and play the game. Kerry Robinson would spend 13 years playing professional baseball. He spent the last 14 years as a scout for the Cardinals. That's a heck of a baseball career for a guy. <laughs> who set his high school school record for goals scored in hockey. Hey, Kerry, congratulations on your Missouri Sports Hall of Fame. It was amazing to play with you for those few years, and it's been great having you as a friend. So congratulations, well-deserved, and congratulations to everybody else. Just an incredible uh, guy all the way around. Another great addition to uh, the most prestigious Hall of Fame in the state of Missouri. This is a great honor for him, and, and uh, just want to say congratulations, Kerry. Um, proud of all your accolades athlete, and, and honors that you've received, and I uh, hope they keep coming, buddy. Um, congratulations, and uh, wish you all the best. Here's a fun fact for you. Kerry Robinson was the first player to ever wear both the number double zero and the single zero in Major League Baseball history. It's all part of his nearly 30-year career in pro baseball. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Missouri Sports Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Kerry Robinson. Thank you, and uh, congratulations to all my fellow 2024 classmates for their induction and athletic achievements. Uh, special shout out to uh, fellow Hall of Famer and uh, teammate Andy Bennett is here. I think I'm one of very few guys that have played with all three Bennis brothers. I played with Andy, Allen, and Adam. So, uh, shout out to Andy. I'm very proud of myself and the Missouri Hall of Fame for honoring me for this one. Uh, I think because you make it to the show that, and that you're always celebrated and showered with praise along the way, which couldn't be further from the, from the, the tr truth in my case. My name may be going into the hall, but all the following people contributed my success along the way. First, I want to thank my sports psychologist, who is also known as my wife, 
Thank you, Robinson. Her patience, encouragement, and even silence at times just to listen to me whine was very valuable. So proud of my three my three gifts, who all turned out to be college soccer players, Brittany and Candy, who are over here, and their sister Corey, who's currently at playing for Lindenwood University. We came within a terrible PK call and golden goal from raising three state high school champions. So we just missed out on that. Many don't know this, but I was a walk-on at SEMO, so thank you to Coach Palmer Mitch for opening the door and giving me an opportunity. And to my SEMO teammates, Dante Harris, twins Todd and Troy Paley, and Tim Bilo, who taught me work ethic and the value of taking extra swings off the tee away from practice to improve my game. Also, thank you to Coach Mark Hogan and his wife, Becky, uh, for their support and hospitality over the years. I would like to take the most time to thank and acknowledge my, the guys I grew up with, because without their efforts playing as little kids, I'm probably not standing here either. Uh, we all know the movie, The Sandlot, and I always could relate to the Rodriguez character. One summer, Jeff Ogleson convinced his dad, Denny, to build a backstop that he placed in an empty house lot across the street from his house, which became our sandlot. We swam, we played, we played street hockey, killed a man with the ball, 500, and raced our bikes. Kenny Rains pitched junior, and Ricky Nichols always wanted to hoop. Jay Jarrett and Justin Popolowski, along with Sean Scanlon, always preferred to play soccer. Mike Dogwell, Ray Bonds, Kirk Roser, Sean Sean, Mike Brown, Scotty Mullen, Mikey Mullen, Maurice Landers, and my cousin Chris Wilson would all compete in whatever the sport of the day was. On many occasions, instead of hanging in with the high school girls, Mark Rozier would play wiffle ball with us younger guys, his brother Scott Rozier and Tony Myers, where I believe I developed my ability to hit breaking balls. <laughs> Years later, using a duct tape wiffle ball bat and throwing a tennis ball as hard as we could from about 30 feet away, I truly believed I developed my ability to hit velocity, uh, playing fuzzball with my high school buddies, Steve Jones, Andy Bursley, and again with Jay Pop. Thank you to a fellow member of this hall, my father Rogers Robinson, for teaching me all he knew about the game. He came into this Hall of Fame because uh, his American Legion baseball team won the national championship. And to my number one fan who rang that annoying cowbell every time I scored a goal, and who stood in my autograph lines at Bush Stadium just to brag to them that I was her son. <laughs> my late mother, Lois Robinson. <laughs> Finally, again, thank you to the Missouri Sports Hall of Fame Committee for thinking and inducting this kid who lived out his dream of playing Major League Baseball from Spanish Lake, Missouri. Amen.